I'm a little late to the game on this one. This song came out about a month ago now. Yeah, a month ago. This is from Kerry King. Um, needless to say, I'm very excited being a huge Slayer fan. Uh, I can't believe I've waited this long to actually listen to this. Uh, Kerry King basically created a super group after, I guess at the time, not thinking that Slayer would reunite. Obviously, since then, uh, Slayer has announced a couple uh, shows for this year. Um, but prior to that, he did create this, what sounds like an incredible band. You know, they got the singer from Death Angel in there. I think it's the guitarist from uh, Machine Head and the drummer that he's worked with before from uh, Testament and Slayer. So um, let's, uh, I'm curious to see if he's got, well, I'm sure he does. He's got some specific merch for his solo career now. Oh, this is the, the album. The album comes out May 17th, by the way, from Hell I Rise. But we're going to listen to Idle Hands today. I don't have a website. Carrie King Official. All right, so there's the album cover. Shop. Let's see what kind of merch we're dealing with. It's not a bad looking shirt. I like the album art. Get it on vinyl. Ah, no cassette. I like this shirt better. I think I like just because it's got the album cover on it. It's a cool design. All right, I mean, there's not much to say. It's Carrie King. Everybody knows Slayer. So I, I want to hear this. So let's play it. Okay, let me stop it right there, because first of all, production-wise, I could already hear this is on point. It sounds really good so far. Uh, I was getting some new Slayer vibes there at the beginning, and for some reason when the vocals came in, I don't know why I, I thought Megadeth for a second, but it sounds like it's about to kick in and maybe sound like Slayer. should have mentioned, Kerry King did come out and say this is probably going to sound like Slayer, which I would expect it to. So uh, let's keep going. Oh yeah. Deceiver, I'll believe in your faith. I don't need any more. When do I get in line? To question all divine. So many rules to bend. Till the end I don't have. Do the devil's work. Hatred is my ambition. Amplified. Dude, I can't get over how good this sounds. I mean, whether you like the song musically or not, you gotta admit, this sounds great. This is excellent production. And I, I, I'm going in and out. Like, at some points, I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that sounds like Slayer. But n n not really overall. This just, this sounds like something different in the Slayer realm, of course, but definitely different. Yeah, that sounds like Slayer. <laughs>
that. That first sound of that slam. Wow! All right, I I'm gonna contradict myself in these reviews. If you, if if I make enough of them, you'll be able to go back. But you said this thing this one time, and that was a bad thing. But now you said this one thing this time, and it was a good thing. I'm gonna say something that in the last video, I guess it was kind of bad. But in this video, I mean it in a good way. They didn't try anything that they weren't incapable of doing. Everybody played to their strengths in that. Everything was exactly on par with what I wanted them to do. I'm talking about all the instruments, the vocals, it was all there. Every element that I wanted to hear, that, <laughs> that scratched every itch I may have had. I have no itches. I am, I am no longer itchy because that just, that just checked every box. You know, it's like, you know, Slayer, and let's, let's count Kerry King, basically, Slayer. You don't want them to really try anything new. That's the weird thing about thrash metal, is that when you, when you, when the bands try to, when they attempt to try something, let's say nine out of ten times it backfires, right? You kind of, they are kind of boxed in a little bit, and they have to, they have to deliver, right? And that delivered in my opinion, anyway. You know, in the past when Slayer has changed their sound or whatever, or, you know, other bands do, hell, Metallica's done it, uh, it, it doesn't always work out great. So, you know, people want to hear a certain thing, and that's exactly that. Take a band like ACDC, for example. If ACDC tries to write a ballad out of the blue all of a sudden, I don't think it's going to go over well, right? So if Kerry King was trying to make some modern sound that would have fit into the, you know, blueprint of 2024 I don't think anybody would have bought it but what they did do here was sound the way you wanted them to sound like musically but have excellent production I really liked the, the mix on this particular track I hope the whole album sounds like that wow I'm happy with that that was very cool I uh, can't wait to hear more so let me know in the comments what you think uh, and that's it See you next time.